Hello, welcome to my video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add uh, color bars and images to GF animations created from Earth Engine data. These images can include some, for example, logos, a uh, water mask, um, or any images you like. So let's get started. In order to follow this tutorial, you need to install the GEMAP Python package. If you have not done this before, you can follow my previous tutorials on how to install the package. And after you install the package, you can uh, download the repo as a zip file or you can clone the repo using git. And then we're going to use the example here under notebooks, number 17, add color bar to GIF. Okay. So once you have this one on your computer, then you can open Jupyter Notebook. Okay. And in here, I'm going to get into the same folder, examples, uh, notebooks, number 17. So um, I'm going to show examples in here. Uh, let me import the package. If you run into errors, you might want to uncommon this line and to execute. But um, I just uh, updated the package, so you should be if, make sure that you have the latest version. Uh, you can also follow the information on the GitHub repo on how to update and install the package. So after we import the package, uh, here we can import uh, to import all the functions, so you don't have to use a gemat dot uh, dot like a function like again and again. So we are going to install import all the functions, and next I'm going to get a example uh, uh, GF animations. So let me show you this one what it looks like. So if you right click, so this is actually animation that we created from the previous tutorial to add animated text and title, place name, or anything you like. And uh, so you can check my previous tutorial number 16, how to create the image like this. So I'm not going to repeat this one, but uh, just to show you that I you can download this, uh, just simply download this image. So once we set the uh, URL where we are going to get this file and we're going to set output folder, so basically, we're going to download this GF onto our computer. And the output folder is the downloads folder. And the name uh, user, because it's temperature, so temp.gif. And just hit run. So it's automatically downloaded to the computer. Then you can check your downloads folder. Um, it's here. So you can open if you like. You can also direct, directly show the the animation on uh, within Jupyter Notebook if you like. So uh, this is where the up, uh, the input, right, the file pass. So the output folder and the name, and then you can just show the file in here, so directly. So the function can display any image. So what we're going to do next is that, so for example, after you create a text like this, you might want to, for example, add some logos or add some other images or add a small maps or anything you like. So how do we do that? Next, I'm gonna show you how to add two logos. For example, this is uh, the data from NOAA and um, also generated using Google Earth Engine. So how about we add uh, NOAA and uh, Earth Engine logos onto the map? So. Uh, you can just you can Google any images and then directly retrieve the image from the internet. So I use this one. So for example, if you take a look, like the NOAA logo PNG, uh, and also the Earth Engine logo, like this. And if you come back, right? So we just set the URL of these two images, and then we also set the output file, uh, output file path. So basically after we modify this uh, GF, where do we want to save the file to? So I'm gonna save the file to the output folder, downloads folder, and then the file name called output.gf, that's it. So we have the input file, and we already set the input file and also the two logos. So next, all you need to do is just call this function called add image to GF. And this in GF is the one here, we downloaded from here. And the output, right, we're going to save as output.gf. 
So this is where you set what image you want to insert into this animation. So we want to insert the uh, NOAA logo and you need to specify what location you want to insert. So the X, Y is to specify the top left corner uh, where you want to insert the image. So you can directly uh, enter the number, uh, absolute number, for example, 10 or 10 is basically in a rows and column. So upper left corner. So if the, for example, in here it might be 10, 10. And you can also use the percentage, for example, 2% X. So 2% of X is might be somewhere in here and 80% Y, so maybe 80% might be somewhere here, right? Uh, the height, 80%. So it's the upper left corner. So the, we want probably in, uh, insert the logo somewhere in here and then you have a logo. You can also set the size, for example, image size, 8, 80 pixels by 80 pixels. So in this way, you don't have to, because if you look at the logo, it's pretty big, right? When you insert into the image, you want to rescale. So all we need to do is just to set the image size and you will automatically rescale for you so that you don't have to use other image editor to rescale the, the, the file. So secondly, um, you can also hit a shift tab on your keyboard and just bring up the more information. So you, here you have the in, uh, description for each um, parameter, input, like output and the image. And so if you need more information, you can uh, bring up the uh, two tips to see what you need to provide. So let's execute the first one. Um, and then if you want to see the image, you can see it right now. For example, let me execute this line. You should be able to see the image. Okay, so it's here. Now we add the logo, right? And, and in addition to the animated text, now we have a logo. So 2% X, 80% Y, right? So Y 80% is somewhere in here, top left corner, 80, uh, and the size is 80 by 80. Next, if you, if you want to add multiple images, uh, you just call this function uh, one more time. So if you, but now make sure that for the input, you need to, because this is the output, right? But we want to add another image, then this image become the input. So you, you can just use the same and then we will overwrite the image, right? So this time we want to add another image, uh, Earth Engine logo. So in here, 13%, 13% X might be somewhere in here and Y uh, 79% because the logos are the size changes. So you want to try and error uh, to make sure that you have to uh, place in a, a good location. So let's execute this one again and then execute this line again. Now you should have two logos together. You can put on the up, uh, lower right corner or any corner or anywhere you like. You just need to figure out the percentage. That's it. So, okay, so now we have two logos, two images. You can use any other images uh, from the internet. Um, so next, let's see how we can add a color bar because from here, this is an uh, hourly temperature, right? Uh, prediction. And you can clearly you probably figure out that or oh, the blue color represent a lower temperature uh, and the red color represent high temperature but we don't know how much so it would be nice to add a color bar somewhere here to represent exactly the number or the uh, temperature the ranges the values of the uh, the temperature so what can we do is to the to create a color bar and you can here specify the width and height. So for example, how big is the color bar you want to be? And also the palette. So this palette is actually the color. So this example comes from the Earth Engine uh, official documentation. So this is the image created by Earth Engine. We already add animated text. We add a label. We add two logos. Now we want to add a color bar. So Earth Engine um, JavaScript didn't um, add a color bar. So we can do it manually. So all we need to do, for example, in here, minimum maximum so this is like degree uh, negative 40 degree celsius and maximum 35 degree and this is the pattern this is how the color changes right from blue all the way to red color and so in here we we want to create a color bar how can we do that um i i wrote the function so it's pretty simple all you need to do is specify how big is the color bar you want what's the palette and also the label so the label here you can provide uh, corresponding to the same length of here. For example, you have one, uh, six colors. You can provide a label of six numbers. But in here, if you only provide two numbers, then it's going to automatically do linear interpolation. So from negative 40 all the way to 35. 
And then all we need to do is to call this functional code create color bar. And you pass in the width, uh, the height of the color bar, and also the palette. Okay. So whether or not you want the palette to be uh, the color bar to be vertical, I will show you the examples later. And then add labels. That means you want to add those values in here, these labels to the color bar and the phone size of the color bar and also the labels, right? You want to add labels, but you also need to specify the labels. So let's see what it looks like. Uh, execute and execute. Now you have this color bar, right? Pretty nice. Ranging from blue color all the way to red color. And the values is uh, linear, uh, linear interpre uh, interpolation. So from negative 40 all the way to 35. Then this one actually is an image, right? And you then can insert this image like what we did earlier. So this one actually is, um, uh, you can also save this one as a PNG. If you don't specify the output for a uh, file pass, it will create one on your downloads folder. So if you come back to here, this is the one created also color bar and then underscore three random digits. So if you want again, it's going to create another one. So we can open, right? So it's a PNG that you can insert into um, other images. If you want to see more information, you can click here and then hit shift tab. So in here, you will see all the detailed information. There are lots of things you can customize. You can also customize the phone type, uh, phone size, and also the phone color, whether you want to add the outline and then also the outline color. So the outline is uh, when you see uh, in here, this is the outline black color. Okay, so you can change the size. For example, you can change to just maybe 12. If you want again, and take a look, right now it becomes smaller, right? So I can, for example, we can do 15. You can, if you don't want the labels, you can set the labels to false. And uh, it won't show the label. Okay, so if you come back to here, now it's no label. So you can also show add ticks, right? These are the ticks in here. If you just want a color bar, you don't want add ticks, you can add um, ticks equal to false. So now this one becomes just a single uh, um, color bar without anything. And you also have the outline. If you don't want the outline, you can change the outline. You can also change the outline color. For example, um, you can call outline color equal to maybe if you just want white color, you can just click white um, in here. Right now it becomes, it has no color. So it's very flexible. You can customize in any way you like. So let's do, you can also do vertical, right? A vertical equal to two. And then if you see from here, it becomes vertical. Right, and you can also insert the vertical bar into there. Every time you create, uh, it's going to create a new file. So with three random digits. So you can, if you you, you can uh, use any, you can compare if you like. And so let me see here, add label. Let me change the add label to two. And add text to also to two. So now you see the differences, okay, in here, right? Uh, so from the number, uh, vertical. So if you want, don't want vertical, let me revert it back to force. Then this time becomes horizontal, okay? So it's become horizontal now. And because it's a PNG, you can easily insert this one to here. So next I'm gonna show you how we can do that. It's the same function, add image to GF. So pay attention, this is the input image. Uh, the input is from here. So because this file earlier is named uh, uh, out GF, so we're going to override the image. And then the image is, is the color bar. So you, you will return the file path of this one to here. Then we're going to say the XY, the upper top left corner where we, where we want to place the color bar and then the size. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, there you have it. So it's right now in the uh, lower uh, left, uh, lower right corner in here, right? You can move the location. You can place it anywhere you like, and uh, you can also customize the the color bar. Uh, so you can add, it depends on the the animation. Um, you can change the values, so you can change the the labels. You can change the ticks. You can change the uh, the palette. So very flexible. And if you want to see the source code, you can look at. Uh, my repo here. Uh, sometimes, if it doesn't work perfectly um, as you want, then you can go to the source where you can customize. So it should be uh, color bar. Uh, maybe for create color bar. 
So in here you will see the source code. Uh, it took me uh, many hours to uh, wrote this and uh, to write this and uh, do the testing. So if you like it, um, you can also customize uh, my source code. Okay, that's all for this video. If you enjoy this uh, tutorial, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also leave comments down uh, at the YouTube uh, video. Hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.